My name is Eric Johnston and welcome to the Veteran Tales Project. And on the strafing run, he took a round right through the head. Yeah. In the cockpit. Yeah. The real bummer about that was he was killed the day his son was born. This really gives the veterans an opportunity to tell their story. Forgotten country, that's all it is. If it means you give your life for your country, well, you give your life for your country. You live life today. You didn't live tomorrow. Better Tells really helps to educate people. The guys left their machine guns, ran to save the Marines and bring them on board. You see another Marine laying there, unable to move. You go help. You go help. It can be emotional in time. He lit up that entire freaking berm. Never let his finger off the trigger. Uh, he got hit twice in the chest, and uh, he actually got back up and then took one to the throat. Uh, Kyle calls out lead, I've been hit. As he gets alongside me all at once, his airplane goes bang. He said, uh, did he get out? Did you see a shoot? He said, negative on the shoot, he didn't get out. These veterans are true heroes. We hit that IED and it knocked me partially out of the vehicle. And then they came in with the RPG and it knocked me the rest of the way out of the vehicle. Uh, covered me in diesel fuel, lit me on fire. That was, that was about 2,000 feet above the ground and the plane was going down like a bomb. I thought about saving the plane and all that and I said, I gotta get out of here, so I ejected. I saw boys laying there with their blown off in here. My heart was still trying to beat. The bag of plum on the arm was blown up. I can't make a breath again. I felt They've really done a lot for this country.